years, uh, farmers have uh, put in random surface drains, first with a moldboard plow, then with a small rotary ditcher, uh, all of which uh, have a problem when you're crossing them, you bounce across them. And when the new rotary ditchers knew back then, ro small rotary ditches that fit on a three-point hitch came out, you could uh, you know, work the field and then go back and, and put in the, uh, the random ditches. So it was never a, a question of whether you would or wouldn't, you just had to do it. It was part of your tillage operations and planting operations. Constructed uh, 800 foot a channel, 30 foot wide, a foot and a half deep, and it took me six hours. Yes. That's a, I mean, I could calculate the yards, but I know it would take me uh, two or three days with a, with a pan scraper doing the same thing. It makes you money because you can grow a crop in wet areas that were uh, previously imperfectly drained, and that's the big advantage. Every piece of ground that, that I farm uh, needs some kind of drainage work. To get surface water off is the quickest return for your money you spent. Well, I've got uh, self-loading scrapers and pull-type scrapers and graders and track hole, dozer, but this thing will uh, pick up the dirt and spread the dirt all in one operation. That's what makes it uh, better than everything else. It'll probably outwork two scrapers. It's not a very big machine, but it moves a lot of dirt. This is a heavy piece of equipment, so uh, whenever you're needing to cut a, a large cut, there's no problem with down pressure because the machine just goes right into the soil without effort, even in, in hard uh, soil. The cutting teeth help with that, and uh, the heavy-duty power takeoff. Uh, I've had no problem uh, in extremely dry conditions or extremely muddy conditions. And uh, I really like the fact that the, uh, the machine is, is spread out a, a, a great distance between the hind wheels and the hitch on the tractor. It gives better grade control. And you've got a real heavy machine between those two points of contact. You can really cut a, a precision grade with the machine. Okay. Well, it, like I say, it does everything in one operation. That makes it way above uh, everything else because usually you've got two or three operations going on if you're... Uh, trying to bulldoze it out and spread it. And this is throwing the dirt a couple hundred feet away from where you're actually going to run water. And that's, uh, that's a big plus there because it's not blocking the water flow into the waterway itself. Doing what I call precision drainage uh, has uh, three main components. And number one, you start with a, uh, a topography map, which is generated from our uh, planter map. Uh, these contour lines are actually only two or three inches apart. I can, uh, from this map and my background in drainage engineering, I can see exactly where the water is supposed to run. And I can plan my ditching system. The solid green uh, arrows are the ditches that I've designed uh, on the map. And uh, so the, the number one challenge is knowing where the ditch is supposed to go. Also from the map, I can tell the precise grade that's supposed to be on the ditch. And most of the ditches that I construct are, only has an inch of fall in 100 feet. And that's uh, way too flat to construct without laser control, which is the second major important thing to have with this system. And then the third uh, component is having a, a machine that builds a quality ditch that can be laser controlled. Wolverine has a five foot wide cutting blade, similar to a land scraper which makes two to six inch cuts at one to four miles per hour. The dirt is forced into a rotating impeller by a rotating drum with fingers and paddles that direct the dirt into the center of the impeller. The rotating impeller, which is driven by the tractor's power takeoff, spins the dirt out, spreading it evenly for up to 150 feet on either side of the ditch. Combining scraping and spreading into a single operation saves time and cost. The smooth finished surface also allows immediate access for today's large seating, tillage and harvesting equipment through and around the ditch. The Wolverine even works well in heavy clay soil because of its innovative patented design and heavy duty construction and years of research and development.